So we are back at Sweetwater Brewing Company with head brewer Nick. And Nick, what do we have right here, my friend? What comes next? This is a hop edition. Nice. This is a hop edition at the tail end of the brew. So basically, we're going to get a aroma out of this. We are going to get some flavor, but these are the Bravo and Amarillo hops. So what we're going to get is that orange, lemon, and lime citrus. Should go great with the smoky, light beer that we got going. Citrus, smoke, I love it. That's right. In we go. In we go. All right. Smells amazing. Nick, thank you so much, my you got friend. It. I gotta go check on this fermenter because we're gonna be knocking out real All soon. All right, sir. All right, I'll talk See to you, you in a minute. See you next step. All right. All right. So me and Nick are making magic happen right now. I'm gonna shoot it up north to Alberta, Canada, to the dark side of the grill. Mel, take it away, my friend. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mel, dark side of the grill. Thanks for tuning into my little segment on Oktoberfest 2020. I hope you stay tuned for the whole weekend. It's going to be amazing. Thank you very much, Chef David Rose, for introducing me. I love that big beast of a man. The first time I met him, he was wearing a shirt just like this, but he had to cut the arms off because of those monster pythons. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for following along. I can't wait to show you what we're cooking today. It's going to be amazing. All right, everybody, let's get to cooking. Here we go. These beautiful side ribs of pork. They're going to be done in a beautiful uh, garlic, pepper, salt, parmesan mix. Going to be smoked low and slow on the big green egg. They're going to be a nice little tasty one biter treat. Going to cut them up into individual pieces. And we're also going to do, well you guessed it, octopus. What? Octopus, maple glazed and smoked with beautiful applewood chips. I am so excited. Now let me get into it right off the bat. Going to share you a couple stories, going to tell you some things. It's Eggtoberfest, baby. Why wouldn't I? Eggtoberfest to me, Eggtoberfest is about sharing. Sharing all of your secrets, all of your recipes, all of your amazing times, all of your amazing barbecue family. That's what it's all about. Barbecue family and Eggtoberfest. I had the most amazing time. Last year, 2019 Eggtoberfest, I met people that I will be hanging out with for the rest of my life. Unbelievable time. Unbelievable people. I learned so much so quickly as you're going to this weekend. Make sure you tune in to every single presenter that you have on this Eggtoberfest. It, it's amazing the amount of um, talent, the, the, the star power, the whole nine yards, everything. Everything you're going to see is going to be just deadly. I will be tuning in myself. Why would you not? Now I'm cutting these guys up into just one bone cubes. One bone cubes as we go in the bowl. I've got both these big green eggs set up for different cooks. This one is set up for indirect, which these guys are going to be going on. And the other one is dual zone. Dual zone, so one side open, one side indirect for the octopus. Or the octopus. Now let me tell you a little bit about Team Green. What an absolute blessing and honor it is to be on Team Green. Let me tell you about Barbecue Family there. Team Green, anytime I have any question, any question at all, if they don't know, well they're going to lie to me and they're going to pull it up on Google. <laughs> it, it's an amazing group of people. An amazing group of people that are there for you night or day, midnight, Got a brisket question, guess what, bang, there's someone there all the time, hit me up, make sure you hit them up too, all of us, every single one of us, you've got a question about an expander, barbecue, life, whatever, we're there, that's what we're there for, we're there to share our experiences and our knowledge with you, that's the whole point of the thing. Now these would be traditionally like your, uh, uh, Sweet and sour, done in a slow cooker, is pretty much with it. I grew up with these ribs. Sweet and sour in a slow cooker. This is way better. Wait until you check this out. Huge fan of that Parmesan anyway. First time I had Parmesan on meat. Uh, done in a setting like this. It was at a Brazilian restaurant, and they did chicken skewers. Chicken skewers done with a garlic parmesan 
and let me tell you it changed my life and then then this came about which is a nice party favorite which me and my friends are going to be snacking on while we watch the next person in line here at Eggtoberfest what a blast Saturday man you guys are you guys are set up for so much it's going to be hard to pay attention there's so much stuff going on and it's going to be amazing I can't wait can't wait to roll through the day strange times we have right now but I think this is really cool really cool how they turned it up so this is just a salt pepper garlic Simple salt, pepper, garlic, all purpose pretty much. All right, a little sprinkle of that, and then we're gonna come in with some fine dusted ground Parmesan. Gonna chase her up like that. Gonna put a little over a cup. Some people, they'll hit this with flour too. I'm not a huge fan of the flour. I find it kind of cakes up, almost burns. Takes in a bit of a, a weird taste. I prefer to do these straight up just like this and as you can see they coat up real nice oh yeah they coat up real nice and a little bit more never killed anybody <laughs> smells always a little bit extra i don't know if you guys have noticed extra extra with a little bit extra this is what i like to do now these are awesome. These are awesome on a movie night. You pull out the platter. You got a poker night with the boys. This is, it's, oh. these are a huge, huge family treat. And my daughter goes just bananas over them. Absolutely bananas. All right. I'm going to put those aside. Put those on in a second. I also want to prep up the octopus. I know you guys are always waiting on me with this octopus. Gloves out here. Boom. Pretty amazing with those craft breweries, eh? I absolutely love that. Small, small batch beers. It's definitely cool. Big green egg, small batch beer. Oh, I, I wish I was down in, in Atlanta right now. What a what an absolute blast I had last year. It was just perfect. Just perfect. But you know what? I'm having a blast now with you guys. Thank you very much for following along. This is this is so cool. It's absolutely cool. Here we go. Octopus. Octopus. Now, if you're buying sushi grade octopus, and for this application, I suggest you do. It's already been poached, cooked, blanched, whatever you want to call it. They steam it, they they boil it, they whatever. It's ready to go. It's not raw, it's cooked. And perfectly, I might add. Unless you get it from a crappy place, but I'm sure you won't. There you go. Beautifully cooked octopus. You know what? We're going to go for broke here. There we go. Oh. <laughs> it's almost like a chicken wing. I don't know if anybody told you this, but Mel... Mel absolutely loves octopus. I have a huge fascination with octopus. Now, I'm going to leave these guys whole. We're going to cut them down at the end. Right? The important part that I wanted to jump in with you guys on is your Canadian maple syrup. I understand you might have a favorite syrup. I get it. But just tickle my fancy and get yourself some Canadian maple syrup, eh? Because this is going to change it for you. I am a huge fan of maple syrup. I could drink a gallon of this. I'm not even joking. If I could put this in my coffee and not get diabetes, I would drink this with every single thing I've ever had. I put this in my old fashions. Shh. That's right. I put a little bit of maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup, in my old fashions. I think we're ready to move this stuff to the big green eggs. What do you think? Oh, I can't wait. Let's bring you in here. Let's bring you in. We'll start with... We will start with this guy right here. My XL running 275, 300 right there. We're going to go indirect. 
with these absolutely gorgeous Parmesan riblets. There we have it. Lay them all out. Always have that drip pan in there. Get that drip pan going. Now these ones aren't getting smoked. We want to leave that flavor stuck right to them. Spread them out though. Even heat distribution is always important. They're going to drip a little bit because they're pork ribs. We're anticipating that, but these are going to be a nice, nice low, easy does it cook. So one of the big things I really like about Oktoberfest too, you have no idea who you're going to run into, who you're going to meet, right? My man Jack Arnold, Barbecue Buddha, last time they were doing a demo for Snake River Farms, Big Green Egg, it was, it was insane. Just experts, absolute experts. You'll be catching up with the uh, Buddha there later, going to be deadly. My man Jack, always a good time, always a good time. There we go. Gonna miss that band playing playing all their neat stuff. Really good time there. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the vineyards being out in the fields. Who knows what they're gonna be cooking up out there? Gonna be awesome. There we go. Alright, riblets. Boom! Just like that. I hope you're ready. Because next. is the octopus on this little XL right here. Boom. Like I said, she's set up for two-tone, two-tone, two-zone cooking. We got indirect here, which they're gonna start on. Boom, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Can you see, am I in the way here? There we go, let's do that. There you go. All right, so we're gonna get these guys just started. Just started, not on the fire. We'll go indirect for a bit. We're pretty much warming them up, nice and cold out of the fridge. But we're also gonna start. Look at this brush. This brush is amazing. I use this sucker all the time. You know what I really like? This big green egg brush, it's pretty much indestructible. I am really hard on my toys. So that's one thing I really appreciate. When my toys can take take a lick and keep on ticking. There we go. So we're gonna start indirect. We're painting this, and we're gonna keep painting it every every couple seconds. We're gonna come back. Well, every couple minutes, we're gonna come back, paint it again, paint it again. We want to make a nice coat, right? And then we're gonna go over the direct. We're literally just gonna get it to kiss with fire, and then we're gonna pull it, let it sit for a bit, slice it up. This will be the craziest, tastiest octopus you've ever had. Little bite-sized pieces of maple, maple glazed octopus, let me tell you. There we go. Just perfect. Nice, beautifully coated. Right on. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. Give me a couple minutes here to get everything cooked and then uh, you know what I'm gonna bounce off I'm gonna come back and I'm going to pull it out we can do a little taste test together how's that sound I hope you're having an awesome Oktoberfest everybody I know I am catch you in a couple minutes all right everybody and we're back guess what these things I'm gonna say they're pretty much done here I'm gonna pull out the old trusty thermometer take a quick check on them Oh, 120s, 130s, 140s, 150s. Yeah, buddy, these guys are ready to rock. Take a big one here, just a triple check there. Boom, 145, 55, 60, boom. All right, there we go. These guys are ready to roll. Absolutely love this. This is, love those instant read thermometers. These guys cook very well. I don't, I don't, let me bring you in here just to, just to show you, look, look how nice, 
looking beautiful. Nice and hot. Look at that. Oh, crusted. Just perfect. Now the ones I'm worried about, the ones I'm worried about are over here. Let's take a look at these guys. Just sit you up. Sorry, I'm rolling solo here. Let's take a peek at how these guys are doing. Now I've I've definitely massaged them with that maple syrup a couple times. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna give them their last little dose here. And over the fire they go. Maple syrup, people, Canadian maple. Can't stress it enough. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. I must have hit these maybe ten times. Ten times over that little bathroom break. There we go. Do, 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 do. One more, never hurt anybody, and guess what? Like I said, this is going to burn quick. This little one I'm not even going to bother with. There you go. Sugar burns over open fire. We don't want that. We definitely don't want that. We're just trying to caramelize and seal in this beautiful flavor. There we go. That's the last run. Kick it, cat, right there. Bang. Open fire, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we want to do it open fire just to finish these guys off Ooh, crisp them up just a bit now the important part with cooking octopus over the open fire you don't want to crisp them so bad that those tentacles the little suction cups start falling off that's when you know you went way past your limit way past your limit we don't want to do that so here we go that maple syrup I also threw a handful of uh, applewood chips into those into those coals just to give us a beautiful little Little, little little kiss of smoke there, which is what we want. Oh, absolutely wonderful! Now, a little dish of uh, tin foil here. Roll it around one more time. One more time. Everything. Oh, just beautiful. Look at that. Just crisping up. You see how that's crisping up now? Char that that beautiful, beautiful char. Now I'm gonna let these guys go. Gonna pull those guys out, and they're gonna go on the bowl. We're ready for them. We are ready for them. On to the serving bowl. Oh, they're almost like they're deep fried, but they're not. Yeah, they're they're cooked egg style. Get that kiss of charcoal on them. How's your Eggtoberfest going, people? I, I want to know. I really want to know. I hope it's a blast. It, I've been having so much fun with this already. Just little bits here and there, chiming in, all the info. Your guys' Saturday is going to be just nuts. This is like the pre, this is like the pre-party with the snackies and the appies and the and the having a good time, right? I can't wait. I can't wait to get down to business tomorrow. Team Green, everybody, all the chefs, all the cooks. It's going to be so cool. Absolutely. There you go. That's enough. We'll let those ones go. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Put you over there. And now. And now it's octopus time. Octopus time, my friend. The flames have definitely charred us up enough. Look at that. That's the char I was talking about. Where you get a little bit. Not a lot. All right. Got our tin foil plate. So got a little bit of that maple, maple syrup left to go. That little guy, that one's mine. That's the party treat right there. <laughs> right on. All right. And I'm going to bring you around the front. Bring you around the front. And boom, there you go. Oh. All right. And not yet. Not yet. And... How about that? How's that work? Ah, perfect! I like that. That's not too bad. So here we go. Get my little minis on, touching food. This is the fun of, uh... The fun of the game here. Eggtoberfest. Now you want these in bite-sized morsels, nothing more. See that perfectly cooked. I'll, I'll bring it in here just to show you. Perfectly cooked, you want this right around the edges, right? You see that? 
nicely right around the edges still kind of rubbery just a little bit crispy on the outside that's perfect that's what you want that's what you want and like I said these are gonna be done just like little bite-sized morsels I'm gonna show you my dipping sauce dipping sauce Front, just so you can get the get the vibe for what we're going for here. Apple smoked, maple syrup glazed octopus, ladies and gentlemen, on the big green egg for Eggtoberfest. Got these beautiful Parmesan pork riblets. Can't help it. Cannot help it. There we go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? And for fun and games, big green egg, Kentucky bourbon, barbecue sauce. This is my dipper. This is my go-to as well. You know what? Let's uh, let's do this proper now. If we were gonna serve this up, you got a friend over, got a couple friends. A little drizzle of this. Kentucky bourbon. Oh, this stuff is money. I drink this stuff. Right, there we go. A couple of those absolutely beautiful little Parmesan ribs there, right? There we go. Throw a couple of these down here. Down here. Guess what? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is a beautiful snacky snack from the Eggtoberfest. Oh, almost forgot. If you haven't got on this yet, the Q Pie, Japanese mail. <laughs> this is a little secret for me. I kick regular mayo now. I'm all up in this Q Pie. Here you go. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Oh, this one wants to go. Ready? There it is. Absolutely awesome. Pork Parmesan. Hmm? That's it, everybody. That's exactly... That's exactly what you're looking for. Thank you so much for tuning in. To Mel's little bit. Of Eggtoberfest. I am blessed to be here, so grateful to share my couple of little tidbits, recipes with you. Get ready to fill your heads full of amazing stuff. This weekend is going to be just jam-packed. I hope you had fun with me. I can't wait for you to have fun with everybody else. Stay tuned. It's going to be a glorious weekend. Dark Side out. Dark Side of the Grill. You do it once again. And make sure to stay tuned at the top of the 8 o'clock hour. We're going to Chi-Town, the Windy City, that's right, with Grilling with Dad. But remember, guys, everybody at home, sharing is caring. Say it with me. Hashtag Eggtoberfest 2020. Use it, share it, learn something, share the wealth. Nick, are we done yet? No, no, no. It's not all about brewing and then sitting back and enjoying a beer, we gotta clean up. Being a brewer is a glorified janitor. Everything needs to be sanitized. We gotta get this malt, the spent grain, out of the mash. So, that's what we need you for. Me? You. I Come thought on. I was just drinking and brewing beer. No, 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 we gotta get a little sweat. Aw, oh, man. Yeah. What are you gonna do in the meanwhile? So, I don't know. I might make sure you're doing your job all right. Ah, come and drink beer, they say. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> the lies we tell ourselves. So I guess he's going to drink beer and enjoy what I'm doing this. So uh, I'll get back to it, and I'll see you guys in a second. Am I still going, Nick? Come on, it's not clean uh, yet. I'm not done. See you guys in a second. <laughs>